Hello, this is Brian Houle. I am a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. And today I want to talk about shareable service management 5.1 and how it handles journaling of customer requests. A customer request in shareable service management is a type of journal that is created when a customer leaves a comment on the self-service portal. So if you go to the self-service portal on any incident and in several places, you have the ability to leave a comment. So if we go into the self-service portal, and this is a demo site, <clears throat> here I have an open incident. And so what I can do is click this add a comment link and I can create my comment through the portal. So what I wanted to do, what, I, what, I've, what I've done uh, is create a journal notification system. And what it does is when a journal comes in that I want to keep track of, usually incoming emails, uh, maybe notes from other technicians on my ticket that I own, and customer requests like this one or comments from the portal, um, the journal notification system will just send an email to the owner of the ticket to say, hey, you've got a, an, unread e uh, an unread journal attached to this ticket that you own. And it just helps, um, it's a little tool to help technicians keep track of their work. The thing that I noticed, however, is this. So when I created the, the uh, notification system, it sends an email and it includes in the body of that email the contents of the journal details field. And by default, um, out of the box, what I'm getting from my uh, create a comment one step in the details field is all this. And so what it's doing is essentially um, putting into the details field of the current uh, customer request journal the contents of the incident comments field. So in other words, <clears throat> rather than just the uh, text entered by the customer for the current journal, it's sort of giving me the history of everything on that ticket. And so I don't want that because what I want in my system is something like this, where when the uh, customer request is created, it just gives me the text of the current customer request rather than the whole incident comment history. I don't want this. Um, this is what happens out of the box. This is what I want. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to get this. And it's real easy and uh, all you have to do is um, edit a one step and use a variable. So let's look. So if we go into our admin tool and open a new blueprint, I'm going to go to managers and one steps. And if we go to blueprint and portal, here's our add a comment one step. So if I edit this, let's look at what it's doing. Um, so it's adding a comment to the incident using a pop-up and all that means is uh, the incident comments field is being updated with this text and the comment itself is a prompt command and so what happens is when we click that link it prompts uh, the customer or the user for this value and it, in it inserts it into the customer comments so then uh, the next step is that it adds a customer request journal and here you see the details field that adds the value of incident.comments, the comments field off the incident object, and that's not what I want. So I'm going to have to change that. So I'm going to come out of here, and I'm going into a different database where I've made this change so I can illustrate it for you. So um, in the change that I've made, if I edit comment, was that instead of putting the value of the prompt directly into the incident, comments field, <clears throat> what I'm doing is using a variable. And variables are new in ShareWell version 5. They're very useful uh, for, for purposes like this. So let's edit this step to see what I did. So I'm using the update a variable or stored value action, or the one step uh, step. I'm just naming it get comment, and I'm creating a variable called customer comment that is of type text. 
And then in the value field here, this is where my prompt goes. So you see I've created a prompt that is identical to the one in the previous version of this one step, where I'm just capturing text from the user. And then I'm storing it in this variable. And so what I can do now here, we here we still have our, our step. I'm actually, instead of putting the prompt directly in this template here for incident comments, this is my variable, customer comment. So I'm using the value, the, the value from that variable which was prompted. And now the next step where I add the customer request to journal, the details field is getting likewise set to that customer comment variable. So in other words, I'm no longer putting the value of incident comment here. I'm just putting what the customer uh, entered for this particular comment. And that way, uh, when I create my journal, I don't get the whole history from the incident comments field. I just get what they entered here. So again, we're using a variable and we're prompting the user to enter the value of that variable. We're adding that on to our incident comments field for history and then we're adding again that variable value to the details field so we're only getting the value that the um, or the text that the customer entered at this time we're not getting history in our individual customer request entry and so that's how we go from this where we're getting all the incident comments in our customer request journal to this where we're only getting the value that the customer entered uh, when they created this particular customer request. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more shareable videos. Thank you.